Hey there, story lovers. Welcome back to another enchanting chapter of our tale. Today, we're diving into the magical world of Saratoga Springs, where the morning after the Festival of Remembrance greets us with a soft, silvery light. Picture this. Frost-laden branches of ancient oaks lining the streets and a vibrant patchwork quilt contrasting the muted world outside. It's a scene straight out of a fairy tale, with pristine snow whispering secrets of the past. So, buckle up as we explore the magic and mystery that awaits Clara Whitmore and her friends in this winter wonderland. Let's get started. Clara Whitmore awoke to a world transformed by the first snowfall. Her wild, curly hair bounced as she leaped from her bed, eager to witness the magic outside. The rooftops wore caps of white, and the ground sparkled like a field of diamonds. Each snowflake, unique and intricate, seemed to carry a secret, a memory waiting to be unveiled. Clara felt a thrill of anticipation. Today was the day of the first snowfall, a day that promised magic. Dressing quickly in her colorful winter attire, Clara dashed downstairs, her mind racing with thoughts of the stories old man Jeb had shared. She could almost hear his gravelly voice recounting tales of the snow spirit, a guardian of memories who danced through the town whenever the snow fell. Clara's heart swelled with wonder as she imagined the spirit weaving through the streets, leaving behind traces of joy and sorrow alike. Outside, the world was a winter wonderland. Clara stepped into the snow, the soft crunch beneath her boots filling her with glee. Across the square, she spotted Liam Pierce, his tousled brown hair barely visible above the snowdrifts. But today, there was a heaviness in Liam's stance, a shadow that clung to him like the chill in the air. Clara waved, her smile bright, but Liam's response was a mere nod, his green eyes clouded with something deeper. As they walked together, Clara's laughter rang out, but it felt hollow against the backdrop of Liam's silence. She reached down to catch a snowflake on her glove, marveling at its delicate beauty. Suddenly, a memory surged forth, a vision of her grandmother, her warm hands crafting snowflakes from paper, each one a testament to love and laughter. Clara closed her eyes, savoring the moment, but when she opened them, she turned to find Liam staring at the ground, his expression troubled. Clara's concern for Liam grew as she asked, What's wrong, Liam? Her voice was laced with worry. Liam hesitated, his breath visible in the cold air. I, I can't shake this feeling, he murmured, his voice barely above a whisper. Every snowflake reminds me of what I lost. Clara's heart ached for her friend. She reached out, placing a hand on his shoulder, but Liam flinched away, retreating into himself like a turtle into its shell. The rift between them widened, a chasm filled with unspoken words and unresolved feelings. Clara felt the weight of the moment, the fragility of their friendship hanging in the balance. Determined to bridge the gap, Clara suggested they visit Old Man Jeb. Perhaps the wise historian could help them navigate the tangled web of memories that the snowfall had stirred. As they made their way through the town, Clara noticed other townsfolk, each lost in their own reveries, their faces illuminated by the soft glow of the snow.